this. Hello, hello. Welcome. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Good evening, Elizabeth. Hello, Jefferson. Esther, hello. ¿Qué pasó ayer? No estuvo en hello. clase, Esther. Hi. Wow, qué bonito los dibujos ahí al fondo. Thank you. ¿Usted es profesora, Esther? No. Ah, Son bueno. las manualidades de mi hija. Ay, qué lindo. Ok, congratulations. Sí. Yeah. Hey, Gabriel, hello. Welcome, Gabriel. Welcome, Mari. Hello, Miguel. Sí. Mi vecina Merli está por ahí también. Hello. <laughs> ok. Good. Now let's start. start to, it's time to start. Sorry, it's time to start. Welcome, everybody. Después vamos a pasar listado. In this moment, we're going to uh, watch a video in the platform. So welcome everybody again. Let me see. Uh, we have the audio and then we have the, give me a second. Here, right? I'm gonna share the audio with you. Okay. Just give me a second. Okay. Here. Good, let's watch the video, right? Uh, remember yesterday we were uh, practicing with the con nouns and non count nouns and the use of some in it. So let's watch the video. Count nouns. Non count nouns are. Additionally, you'll learn how to use the expressions some and any. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, How About Some Sandwiches? Which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's listen and practice. What do you want for the picnic? Hmm, how about some sandwiches? Okay, we have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheese. Do we have any drinks? No, we need some. All right. Let's get some lemonade. And let's buy some potato salad. Sure. Everyone likes potato salad. The first thing that I would like to explain is... Okay. I will show you something. And we don't have... About this conversation. Look, the use of... Uh, uh, <laughs> some and any, right? Mm, okay. What do you want for the picnic? Is how about some sandwiches? Some sandwiches. Look, some is used in questions, right? And then we have some some chicken. Right? Mm -hmm. I hear a sound there. Oigo un micrófono por ahí. Realen un segundito. Vamos a apagarlo. Okay. Okay, good. Now let's continue, let's continue. Good. And again, it says we don't have any, look, any, right? We don't have any cheese, any cheese. Uh, do we have any drinks? And, oops, sorry, what? Well, and, and we need some. Look, some. And let's get some lemonade, right? And buy some potato salad over here. Oh, okay, you understand. Now, it means that we can use some and any in questions. We can use uh, some and any in sentences, right? The, but we use some in affirmative sentences and we use any in negative sentences, right? Okay, good. And, well, I have a message here. Permítame que tengo un mensaje aquí. Okay, 
Good evening, Andrea. Welcome to the class. Welcome. So let's continue watching the video. Let's continue watching the video, right? Have any cheese? Do we have any drinks? No, we need some. All right. Let's get some lemonade. And let's buy some potato salad. Sure. Everyone likes potato salad. The first thing that I would like to explain is Hi, good night. Hello, count good night. and non count nouns. Me voy conectando, voy camino a casa. Person, a place, a thing. So basically, anything that can be seen around you is okay. a noun. Thank you, thank you. Uh, in English, we have two types of nouns we have count nouns and non count nouns. Count nouns are those things that you can count. As you can see on the chart, an egg, eggs, a sandwich, sandwiches. We can count eggs and sandwiches. Non count nouns are those things that you can't count because it's impossible to count. For example, liquids such as water, lemonade, milk, etc. On the chart, you can see a couple of examples bread, lemonade. Let's take a look at all the examples on this chart. Some and any. Count and non count nouns. Do we need any eggs? Yes, let's get some eggs. No, we don't need any eggs. Do we need any bread? Yes, let's get some bread. No, we don't need any bread. Count nouns. An egg. Eggs. A sandwich. Sandwiches. Non-count nouns. Bread. Lemonade. Specific. I'm eating an egg. Let's get some bread. General. Eggs are good for you. Bread is good for you. The next important thing to understand is the usage of some and any. Some and any are used to express quantity. I would like to analyze the questions first. Our first question, do we need any eggs? When forming questions, we may use any or some. For example, we could also say, do we need some eggs? Our next question, do we need any bread? We could also say, do we need some bread? However, when responding to these type of questions, we can only use some when responding positively. In our example, we can see how the question, do we need any eggs, is answered by saying, yes, let's get some eggs. And the question, do we need any bread, is answered positively by saying, yes, let's get some bread. Finally, we can only use any when responding negatively. So as we can see on both of the questions display, no, we don't need any eggs. Now it's your turn to practice by making some examples of your own. Okay, very good. So basically, is the use of any and some, right? Remember, any and some is used just uh, for plural and for non count now, right? Here, for example, we can use uh, eggs and sandwiches, right? For example, we cannot say some egg or, or any sandwich. No, 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 no. We can say some eggs or any eggs. We can say some sandwiches or any sandwiches, right? Good, it's just for plural. And also for non count now, you can say some bread, any bread, some lemonade, any lemonade, right? Okay, and normally we use any in questions. We can use some in some cases, right? But most of the time you use any in the question. 
then we can use some in the affirmative or the positive sentences, and we can use any in the negative, right? Basically, is this, this is the topic. Basicamente, ese es el tema. Okay? Good. Let me see. Uh, quiero ver si hay comentarios esta noche. Yes, congratulations, right? Gracias por sus comentarios. Esta noche no los vamos a poder leer porque tenemos poquito tiempo. Así que I have to say thank you for your commentary. Gracias por sus comentarios. Sí los leo, los leo. Solo que ahora no los vamos a poder leer. Ok. Good. That was the video about count and non-count nouns. Let me share some material about this topic. Right. Ok. Here we have this material. Related to food, right? Food. Okay. So we're going to learn a little bit about this, right? And it says, uh, for good health, eat a lot of grains, vegetables, and fruit. No, listen, I didn't say hamburgers. No, I didn't say hamburgers. I didn't say pizza. I didn't say pollo campero. I didn't say pata de sopa, pata, sopa de patas. No, 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 no. I didn't say that. I say fruit, vegetables, and grain, right? Dairy, you know, lactose, meat, and other protein, and a little fat, poquito nada más de, de grasa, right? In others. No, 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 no. I didn't say panes migueleños. I didn't say choripanes, no. Not good for you, please. From time to time, but de vez en cuando. Not, not every day, right? Good. And then we have here uh, the this information about food. Look, we have fruit and vegetables, meat and other protein, grains, uh, dairy, you know, lactose, and other fats and oils, right? So we have this, right? Now read, please. In the meantime, I will take the attendance. Vamos a tomar asistencia. Anoche. En lo que ustedes me leen ahí el. Las comidas, ¿verdad? Ok. Uh, Andrea. Present teacher. Ok. Azucena. Present teacher. Thank you. Brian. Mr. Claro Montoya. Ah, felicidad de los argentinos que ganaron ahora, ¿verdad? Mr. Montoya. Gracias, gracias, gracias. Oh, oh excuse me. Ahí está con la camisa. ¿Qué camisa? Claro, pues claro, claro que está. Está bueno, está bueno. Yo le voy a Argentina. Yo le voy a Argentina también. Argentina y Brasil, pero bueno. Brasil. Eso, no, Argentina, Argentina, Brasil. Yes, ok. A ver qué tal. Va con Francia. No, va, digo, como que voy a jugar yo. Eh, va con Francia. Ok, Brian. No, Brian. Ok. Carolina. Miss Rivera Liborio? No. Cindy? Miss Guardado Gonzalez? Okay, Damaris? Upsi, me dije que hay varios apartadores. Más tarde voy a pasar el listado otra vez. Eh, darling? Presente. Okay, thank you. Hoy si no le respondo, creo que voy a ser de oyente porque de estoy, oyente. Eh, este día trabajo y oh. estoy bien atrasado. Ahí está con el bebé también, ¿verdad? Y estoy con la no. niña, sí, y, está, y trabajamos de noche. Oh, sorry. Bueno, está bien, pero es importante que esté con el... Sí, gracias. Audio. Sí. Ok, thank you. Nada, Esther. Present. Fernando. Fernando. Present teacher. Okay, good. Eh, ¿Todo bien, Fernando? Que me ha faltado eh, unas dos clases por ahí. Sí, sí, todo bien, Ticho. Okay, por good. ahí ayer le, le comenté que tenía sí, una... Sí. Ajá, problemas con el internet, ¿verdad? El viernes, sí. Ayer ah, okay. igual. Bueno, pero aquí está ya con nosotros, ¿verdad? Ok. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Gabriel. Present teacher. Mari. Present teacher. Herbert. Present teacher. Ok, thank you. Karina. Present teacher. Janet. Present teacher. 
Jefferson. Present. Eh, JC, que va a estar de oyente ahorita, ¿verdad? Eh, Julissa. Present, Ángel. Sí, voy camino a casa. Por tranquilo, momentos se me va tranquilo. la señal. Tranquilo, usted fíjese bien en la calle, oigan. No queremos bueno. ninguna desgracia por ahí. No queremos ese argentino que no falle la final el domingo, ¿ok? No, tengo que estar en la final, así que... <risa> Yulisa. Yulisa. Miss Aguilar Delgado. No, ok. Uh, Stephanie. Present teacher. Katherine. Present teacher. Kevin. Present teacher. Welcome, Laura. Present teacher. Okay. Eh, Miguel. Present teacher. Eh, Elizabeth Bastardoyente, ahora tome la asistencia. Sandra. Present. Vanessa. Present teacher. Yesenia. Yesenia Guadalupe. No. Ok, good. Ya voy a pasar la asistencia por aquí. No, please. Listen to the audio, please. Unit 9. Do we need any eggs? A mí no me ha pasado lista. Sorry. Merly. Eh, Merly. Okay. Sorry, Merly. Oh, perdón, no, 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 no lo escuchó. Sí, sí, pero tranquila, ya, ya le tomé asistencia, sí. Está ya. Okay. Gracias. Thank you. Okay, let's continue. 58. Exercise 1. Word power. Foods. Part A. Food guidelines. For good health, eat a lot of grains, vegetables, and fruit. Eat some dairy, meat, and other protein. Eat a little fat and oils. Listen and practice. Fruit. Apples. Blueberries. Lemons. Oranges. Bananas. Kiwis. Vegetables. Lettuce, carrots, broccoli, tomatoes, potatoes, onions, grains, rice, pasta, crackers, noodles, bread, cereal, dairy, Cheese, milk, yogurt, fats and oils, butter, cream, oil, meat and other proteins, chicken, fish, eggs, beef, nuts, beans, Okay. Now, uh, remember, chicken is pio pio, right? And other uh, other birds, other birds, we say poultry. Poultry uh, is what we know about uh, meat of bird, right? Poultry. For example, kabu 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 kabu, you know, the turkey, or quack quack quack. The duck, right? So it's poultry, including chicken, right? Okay. Then beef is mmm, mucha carne, right? Beef, beef. That is when when you re, uh, talk about uh, we say res, right? Beef and uh, pork, oink oink oink. It's also you know related with meat, right? And in, in Thailandia, for example, in China, Thailandia, one of the meat is dogs. 
because in Tailandia, Singapore, China, they eat the dogs, right? Ajá, uh -huh, Miguel. San Vicente también, teacher. Oh, it's Catalan Stadium, right? <laughs> okay, very good. Good information, thank you. Now, uh, I don't know if you have questions. How do you say in Spanish, for example, questions? No questions? For example, how do you say uh, noodles, crackers? It's in the picture, but how do you say? Well, here we have some some uh, vegetable, but we need some, right? For example, celery, that is a apio, celery, and other, other vegetable, right? And a lot of fruits. We also have coconuts. We have, uh, in El Salvador, for example, we have some uh, fruit that is only in El Salvador, like the cincuya. Cincuya is fruit in El Salvador, right? Nisperos, caimitos. Do you know the caimitos? Conocen los caimitos? Very delicious. Yes. 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 Very lechosos and delicious. <laughs> okay, good. Now, uh, we're going to say something, right? You're going to say, I like, for example, in my case, I like apples. I like uh, oranges. Mm -hmm. I like carrots. I don't like broccoli. I don't like kiwi. No. I don't like um, what? Noodles. I don't like only that. I like the, <laughs> almost everything, right? No. Uh, please help me, Andrea. <laughs> Tell me I like and I don't like, Andrea. Repeat. I need you to tell me, I like and I don't like. Affirmative and negative, please. I like es, apples. You like apples. Uh, Amanda? You like apples. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Y la otra es? I don't like. No. I know, I, I not don't. like. No, I don't. I don't like. Okay, I don't like this. Quiero ver. Ay, no sé por qué todo me gusta. Oh. <laughs> este. Ay, no sé. El chocolate. 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 You don't like chocolate. You don't like chocolate. Okay. Nice. Good. And then. Um, Azucena, please. Give me examples, Azucena. Uh, okay. I don't like beef. Uh, uh, per, sorry, I don't like broccoli. I like beef. Okay. Good. Carolina, welcome to the class. Ya le estoy tomando asistencia, Carolina. Now, Esther, please. I like I, like, I don't like. I like apples. Uh -huh. I don't like. Todo me gusta. Todo le gusta. Sí. Todo me gusta. Okay. The, the oil? Yes. Yes. Okay. So tell me something that you don't like. For example, do you like pacayas? Yes. Oh. Dice, noodles es espagueti. No, noodles es eh, fideos. Ah. Okay. Espagueti, yo entiendo que el espagueti es más grueso y la pasta es diferente, ¿sí? Y los fideos como que la pasta es más, más, barata, más barata, ¿no? La que viene en Maruchan, por ejemplo, son noodles, ¿sí? Ok. Ok. Thank you. Good. Excuse Now, me, teacher. Yes, tell me. I like Maruchan. 
Eh, yo tengo mala conexión, eh, se me acabo de conectar. Ah, ok. Eh, Yulisa. Sí. Yulisa, ok, permítame, Yulisa, le voy a tomar la asistencia antes que otra cosa pase. Sí, vaya, gracias. Es que a veces se, se, me salgo y entro porque sí tengo mala conexión. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Ok, usted, gracias. Teacher, ¿cómo se dice en inglés remolacha? Bit. What? Bit. 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 Ok. Bit. Bit, yes. This is when you. you when you eat, eat a bit, uh, the P, the color of the P changes, right? Cuando alguien come remolacha, el color del PP cambia, ¿verdad? Así que no se van a afligir si eso les pasa, porque es algo normal. Cuando alguien come remolacha, especialmente si le gusta comer bastante, <laughs> le cambia el color. I don't like bit. I don't like bits either, right? Pero no se van a asustar si les pasa. Eh, How do you say in English rabano? Rabano. Radish. Yes. Give me a second. Uh, okay. Radish. Rabbit. No, rabbit. <laughs> Radish. Okay. Radish. Rabano, right? Okay. How do you say plátano in English? Plantain. Plátano, right? No, no guineos. Plátano, el grande, ¿no? Plantain. Por ejemplo, ¿cómo decimos plátano frito? Fried plantain. Fried plantain. Ok, good. Also, we have uh, this one, cincuya. Have you tried cincuya? Yo he escuchado eso de cincuya, pero ¿qué es en sí? Es como, como una guanaba gigante. Guanaba, ¿no? Sí, pero eh, adentro es anaranjada y con pelitos. Sí, es bien deliciosa la cincuya, ya. Yes. Y están los caimitos también. Caimitos. El papaturro también. Papaturro. ¿eh? El soy fruit. En in, in, in this case, o de ese jocote, ¿verdad? No Matasano también. Matasano, si jocote no se refiere a los dedos, no, se refiere al, a la fruta, no, eh, que en inglés, you say, uh, ok, Catherine, no problem, ¿qué le esperamos, Catherine? Eh, jocote, right, en uh, Nacaspilo, too, en Santa Ana, por ejemplo, los Nacaspilos, creo que así se escribe, Nacaspilo. Que son como pepetos, pero son un poco más enrollados y un poquito más grandes, ¿no? Todas las fincas de Santa Ana encuentran nacaspilos. Yes. It's very common, right? Ok, pero si nos detenemos aquí a hablar del vocabulario, vamos a pasar toda la noche. Así que vamos a pasar al siguiente, ok? Good. Uh, now, uh, give me a second here. Vamos a borrar esto. Now, count and non-count nouns. And conversation. Listen to the audio, please. Page 59, exercise 2, conversation. How about some sandwiches? Listen and practice. What do you want for the picnic? Hmm, how about some sandwiches? Okay, we have some chicken, but we don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheese. Do we have any lettuce? Let's see. No, we need some. Let's get some tomatoes, too. Okay. And let's buy some potato salad. All right. Everyone likes potato salad. Good. Now listen again and repeat, please. Listen again and repeat. Listen and practice. Listen and repeat. What do you want for the picnic? Hmm. Mm, come on, repeat. How about some sandwiches? Okay. We have some chicken, but we don't have any bread. 
And we don't have any cheese. Do we have We have, have any lettuce? Let's see. No. We need some. Let's get some tomatoes, too. Okay. And let's buy some potato salad. All right. Everyone likes potato salad. Okay. And we check that in this conversation, they use some and any, right? Let's practice the conversation. Let me see. I need two students to practice the conversation. Uh, I need... Carolina and Esther, please. Carolina, you're Adam. And Esther, you're Amanda, right? Ready? Okay. Hey, give me a sec. One, two, three, action. <laughs> Hi, excuse me. <laughs> okay, no problem. <laughs> uh, yeah, I see, yeah. Okay. <laughs> what do you want for the picnic? Hmm. What about some sandwiches? Okay. We have some chicken, but we don't have any bread cabbage. And we don't have any cheese. Do you have any lettuce? Let's see. No, we need some. Let's get some the Tomate, tomates too. No tomate, come on, tomatoes. <laughs> Come on. Okay. Tomatoes. Tomatoes. Okay. Okay. And let's buy some potato salad. Hi, read every everyone likes potato sauce. Carolina, all right. Monday. All right. All right. Everyone likes. Okay, all, all right. Every, okay. every everyone. Everyone likes potato salad. Like potato sauce. Thank you very much, Esther and Carolina. Now please, Fernando and Gabriel. Fernando, you are Adam, and Gabriel, you're Amanda. Action. What do you want for the picnic? Um, how about some sandwiches? Okay, we have some chicken. But we don't have any bread. Uh, and we don't have any cheese. Do we do we have any lettuce? Let's see. No, we no we need some. Let's get some tomato too. Okay. And let's buy some potato salad. All right, everyone like potato salad. Mm -hmm. Listen, Gabriel, potato. Potato. Tomato. Tomato. Potato. Potato. Mangueiro. Ah, no, no, mangueiro, no, only mango. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, tomato and potato, right? Okay, potato. class, now let's go to this. Thank you, uh, Bernardo and Gabriel. Now, listen to this information, right? Welcome. Listen to Gabriel. Page 59, Exercise 3, Grammar Focus. Count and non-count nouns. Some and any. Count nouns. An egg. Eggs. A sandwich. Sandwiches. Do we need any eggs? Yes, let's get some eggs. No. We don't need any eggs. Non-count nouns. Bread. Lettuce. Do we need any bread? Yes, let's get some bread. No, we don't need any bread. Okay. 
Eh, any question? Just give me a second. Solo voy a tomar la asistencia. Eh, nuevamente lo que no se han reportado, ¿verdad? Brian? Present teacher. So, thank you. Cindy? Cindy? Damaris? Okay, good. Now, uh, as I said before, okay, give me a second. Okay, una, eh, eh, Yesenia o de Lupe Teacher, igual no había manera de comunicarle. Sí, eh, ahorita ya sé, pero bueno, ya tomó la asistencia, Yesenia, ¿sí? Ya, ya tiene la asistencia, Yesenia, tranquila, no se preocupe. Thank you. Thank okay, you teacher, much. gracias. Ok, you're welcome. You're welcome, right? Y solo tengo de oyentes a Elizabeth y a JC, ¿verdad? Y a Darling. Y de ahí todos estamos ahora, qué bien, lo felicito, congratulations. Solo me falta Cindy y Damaris. Por si la ven por ahí, me, me les dicen que me, me dejan un mensaje, ¿verdad? Por, para tener casa llena. <laughs> ok. So again, look, I already explained this. Any is for questions. And some is for questions too, right? And then some for affirmative and any for negative, right? Okay, good. Uh, let's see what of these things are uh, countable and non countable because he says count nouns and non count noun, right? We can now count now, we can say an egg, only one egg, right? Then we can say in plural eggs. We can say a sandwich and we can say sandwiches, right? But in the noun count, we have bread, right? And let us, let's see uh, some examples here uh, of countable and uncountable, right? Blueberries, apples, oranges, lemons, bananas, kiwis, onions, tomatoes, potatoes, and carrots. Those are countable. So you can say a carrot, an orange, a tomato, right? Or you can say tomatoes, oranges, the carrots, etc. Et but with lettuce, the sugar, right? Lettuce. No, you cannot say let lettuces. Eh, no. Or broccolis. No, no, no. Only broccoli. Broccoli and lettuce are not countable, right? Pasta. Rice. Bread. Not countable. Beef. Chicken and fish. Right? No contour. Spinach. Spinach. Spinach, right? Is no contour. No contour, right? Spinach, right? Spinach. No, no, no. No contour, right? Okay. Spinach. Uh, Pacayas also, right? Pacayas, no contour. <laughs> okay. I don't like pacaya, sorry. Cheese, milk, and yogurt, no countable. Oil, milk, right? No countable. Butter, no countable. Cereal, no countable, right? With bread, we can say loaf of bread or, or gasa de pan, right? You can say one loaf of bread, una, una gasa o un, un panzote, pues. Recuerden que en otros países se come más el pan que la tortilla, entonces los, los pedazos de panes son grandes, ¿no? <ríe> y los cortan, pero aquí los, cada vez los van haciendo más chiquitos. Cuando ya les suben de precio, los hacen grandes. ¿no? De ahí, otra vez los van haciendo chiquititos. <ríe> la costumbre de los panaderos salvadoreños. ¿Ok? Good. That's it, right? Y en this, right, eh, la pasta, el, el arroz y todo esto se... Oh, um, Digamos, el vino, el café, la leche. Uh, ¿Lo podemos hacer contable? Sí, lo ponemos en un vaso, o en una caja, o en una, un plato, no sé. Y entonces ya podemos decir, eh, for, for example, two glasses of water, dos vasos de agua, right? ¿Ok? O two boxes of pasta, ¿no? Dos cajas de, de pasta, ¿ok? Ok, we're going to make a practice, right? Let's begin. Please say some or any, right? Some and, and any. Let's start with the with the conversation of uh, Adam. 
in, in Amanda and Adam, right? Good. So let me see. Who's next? Who's going to help me? Uh, Hissel, please. No, Mari, Mari. Mari and Herbert, right? Mari, you are Amanda and okay. Herbert, you're Adam. Ah, no, no, no. Give me a second. Vamos a hacer una cosa antes de practicar la conversación. Primero, right? Mari, please. Let's make some or let's make any. Remember, Marty. What did you say? Any is for negative and some is for negative. Uh, affirmative, sorry. Some is for affirmative and any is for negative, right? Yes. Okay, Marty. Let's make some or let's make any. Some. Okay, nice. Herbert, please. Okay. okay. Do we have any or do we have some? Eh, any. Any, right? We can use some. También podemos usar some, pero aquí como que es más apropiado el any, ¿no? Ah, ok. okay thank, you. thank you, thank you, thank you. Some, some eh, or any. Sí, aunque en la mayoría de casos, Herbert, cuando uno está ofreciendo algo, es más común usar some, ¿verdad? Ah, ok. Teacher, one question. Yes, Fernando. O sea que no hay problema de usar cualquiera de, de any o some a la hora de preguntar. No, 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 no. no, no. no es la regla no. nada más es a la hora de contestar que negativo es any y a lo positivo o afirmativo es some. Totally right. Totally right. Ah, ok. Solo, solo que, eh, como repito, Fernando, la costumbre es que en todas las preguntas usan any, pero cuando están ofreciendo algo. Por ejemplo, yo le digo, uh, quisiera algo de pasta, Fernando. Entonces le digo, Fernando, would you like some pasta? Ah, oh, ok. Entonces ahí como que hemos apropiado el some en esa pregunta, ¿verdad? Pero la mayor parte de las veces usan N. Pero re repito, Fernando, por costumbre. Porque se usa más N en preguntas. Ok, okay. Now, thank you. Thank y, en el, en lo, y en los ejercicios, ¿aceptaría los dos eh, Vamos, contestar? Sí, sí. Uh, okay, now, Karina, please. No, we, recuerde, Karina, que, que hay un punto, ¿ves? Se para la oración, ¿verdad? Entonces, cuando dice no, ya, ya, ya terminó, ¿verdad? Y ahora vamos al punto, ¿sí? No. Okay. We, Karina, we need to buy some or we need to buy any? Uh, some, teacher. Some, okay. Some. Um, Some teacher, right? Ah, no, no, sorry. Estoy molestando, Karina. Okay. Now, uh, we need, uh, Janet, please, we need some or any? Some. Okie dokie, some, right? Pepper, some, please. Oh, I don't want some or any onions. Jefferson? Any? Any, my goodness. Totally correct. Thank you. Now, then let's get some, uh, Julissa. Or oh, any. Oh. Let's get some or let's get any. Oops. Some. Some, correct. Correct. Let's get some. Thank you. Now, uh, Stephanie Melgar, please. No, I don't want some or any, Stephanie. Any. Any, correct. Thank you. And the last one, please. Catherine. Some apples or any apples? Um, some apples. Some apples. Good, thank you. Okay. Now repeat after me, please. Repeat after me, everybody. Apayamos los micrófonos. Vamos a repetir, please. The store doesn't have any potato salad. The store doesn't have any potato salad. Well, we have lots of potatoes.
Let's make some. Okay. Do we have any mayonnaise? Do we have any mayonnaise? No. We need to buy some. We need some onions too. Oh, I don't want any onions. I hate onions. Then let's get some celery. No, I don't want any celery in my potato salad. I don't want any celery in my potato salad. But let's put some apples in it. Apples in potato salad? Mm, that sounds awful. That sounds awful. Eso suena horrible, right? That sounds awful. Good. Now let's practice the conversation, please. Uh, I need Kevin, please. You're going to be uh, Adam. And Laura, you're going to be Amanda, right? Okay, ready? One, two, three. Action. This store doesn't have any potato salad. Kevin? Okay, I'm sorry. Merlin is going to help me. So, entonces, me ayuda Merlin con el rol de, de, de Adam, please. Ready, Merlin? Can you hear me, Merlin? Hello, teacher. Okay, please. You are Adam. Okay. Well. Well. Perdón. Estoy haciendo ver en la pantalla. Well, uh, we have. Well, we have lots of potato. Let's make some. Okay, give me a second, please. Realme un segundito. Okay. ¿Alguien, ¿Alguien me dijo de la pantalla? ¿Todos están viendo la pantalla? ¿Sí? Sí, 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 yes. se ve bien. Sí, claro. claro. Yes. Es que escuché a alguien por ahí que dijo que no la veía. No sé si me equivoco. Yo la estaba, estaba haciendo más grande la pantalla de mi teléfono. Ah, vaya. Pero, pero sí se ve, Merlin. Sí, sí se ve. Ah, ok. Thank you. Thank you. Continue, please. Ajá. Laura, please. Okay, do do we have any mayonnaise? 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 No, we need to buy some. We need some onions too. Oh, I don't want any onions. Uh, I have. <laughs> Onions. Mama. Then let's Mama. then let's get some celery. No, I don't want any celery in my potato salad. Mama. Mama. But let's let's put some apple in in it. Apple in potato salad. That song. Awful. Thank you, thank you very much, right? Por ahí la estaban llamando, ¿verdad, Laurita? Sí. <laughs> ah, okay. Muy bien, hay que entenderlo. ¿eh? Okay. Thank you, thank you. Now, let's continue. Uh, Miguel, please. Miguel, uh, you're going to be Adam, please, Miguel. And Sandra, 
Sandra, you're going to be Amanda, right? Ready? One, two, three, action. The store that doesn't have any potato said. Well, we have lots of potatoes. Let's make it some. Okay, do we have any mayonnaise? <laughs> no, we need to buy some. Yeah, we need some onions too. Oh, I don't want any onions. I hate onions. <laughs> okay, then let's get some celery. No. I don't want any celery in my potato salad, but uh, let's put some apples in, in, it, in it. Apples in potato salad? That song awful. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Good, any question? Okay, now let's go to the class. Entonces ahora sí vamos ya a la clase de este día, right? Let's make a presentation. A, a question. Uh huh. Please. Uh, uh, awful is este horrible o feo, horrible, cae mal. Oh. Mm. Se pronuncia mm. awful. Awful, sí. Awful. Mm. Odioso, odioso. Por ejemplo, uh, Kylian Mbappé. Awful. Mm -hmm. right. mm. Okay. Awful. Awful. Yes. O uh, sope chipilín, por ejemplo. Awful. Okay. Sí. Yes. Very okay. good. Now let's continue. Ah, uh, Catherine, Stephanie. Uh, coach, uh, what is celery? Ah, uh, celery. It's apio. Uh -huh. Apio. Apio. Yes. Do you like? Then, do you like? Do you like celery? Yes, I like it. Okay, me too. Especially when I go and visit uh, Buffalo Wings. Mm. Delicious, right? China walk. <laughs> China walk too. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, delicious. Okay, yes. let's continue. Let's continue, right? Let's go to the presentation for tonight. Um, Cindy y Damaris, ¿no se han presentado todavía? ¿Están por ahí? No. Cindy and Damaris, no. Bueno. Espero que mañana las tengamos acá con nosotros. Okay, uh, now we're going to watch uh, uh, the press. Oh, no, this is not, this is the platform. But I can enseñ la presentation. Okay. Good. <laughs> now, uh, listen, please. Today we're going to see, oops, sorry. Here, right? The presentation for today is what do you have for breakfast? And the conversation, fish for breakfast? Good. December 13th, 2020. I have a question, class. Uh, uh, how do you say, uh, what is the meaning of breakfast? Desayuno. And what is desayuno? ¿Y qué es desayuno? Eat in the morning? Mm, no. Ahorita le explico. Ah, Kevin. Está bien, Kevin, no hay problema. En la próxima me participa. Ok, ahorita les explico qué es desayuno. Realen un segundito. Aquí vamos a escribir desayuno. Ok. Es, es ir en contra de. Ok. Y ayuno es no comer. Un otro ejemplo es desarmar. Ir en contra de armar. Lo opuesto de armar es desarmar. ¿Sí? Eh, descontento. Des él está descontento, ¿verdad? Descontento. Quiere decir que no está contento, es en contra de estar contento. Deshacer. En contra de hacer. Quiere decir que la, la palabra des quiere decir en contra. En contra del ayuno, del ayuno, perdón, porque ustedes toda la noche no comen nada. Bueno, espero que no se levanten a las 3 de la madrugada a comer algo ahí, ¿verdad? 
pero normalmente uno está dormido nada sin comer. ¿sí? Entonces, ya en la mañana cuando uno come, entonces uno va en contra del ayuno. ¿sí? Y ahora, entonces, ¿qué significa breakfast? Breakfast. ¿sí? Break quiere decir romper y paz como adjetivo quiere decir rápido. Pero como nombre quiere decir ayuno. ¿Cómo decimos ayuno en inglés? Fast. ¿Ok? Como adjetivo es rápido. ¿verdad? ¿Se acuerdan la película Fast and Furious? Como adjetivo. Pero como nombre es ayuno. Entonces, ¿qué significa ayuno? Romper. Romper el ayuno. Perdón, romper el ayuno. Breakfast. ¿Ok? Ese es un comercial. Comercial, right? <laughs> ok. Now let's continue. Let's go to the next part. Herbert, can you help me? Read the objective, please, for the class. Herbert. Okay, adverse of frequency, right? Thank you, thank you, Herbert. Now, To begin, we have these others. Look, always, usually, often, sometimes. Sometimes, rarely. Rarely and never. So, always is all the time. For example, I always breathe, but siempre, siempre respiro, ¿verdad? Tratemos de pasar una media hora sin respirar. No, no, no. Goodbye. Yes. <laughs> so, you always breathe. Always. I usually, I usually have nope. breaks. I usually have breakfast, right? Often, I often play football. So usually it's like 90%, como 90%, 80%. 80, 80. 80, uh -huh, como un 80%. Sí, 80, 80. No exactamente, 80%, no, que no es 81. No, no. <laughs> es para más o menos tener una idea, ¿verdad? Right? Yes. Ok, y often es... Uh, frecuentemente también, ¿verdad? Sí. Sometimes, permítame que le vamos a bajar aquí el volumen al, al carrito de Jay-Z. Ahí estamos. Ok. Luego, sometimes es algunas veces, un, como un 40%, calculo yo, ¿no? 35, no sé. 30. Rarely es raramente un que sería un 10%. Un 10%, ¿verdad? O 5%, no sé. Y never is 0%. Por ejemplo, I never eat pacayas. Nunca como pacayas. I never, right? Ok. So, look at this. Si ustedes saben identificar el sujeto y el verbo en una oración, ya la hicieron. Ya hicieron el 90% del, para que entiendan la oración, ¿verdad? Y si en medio le ponemos un adverbio, Estamos indicando la frecuencia con que usted hace algo. Por ejemplo, yo digo, I always run. Siempre salgo a correr. ¿Es indispensable usar adverbios de frecuencia? No, no es necesario. Solo sirve para indicar con qué frecuencia usted hace cierta actividad. ¿no? Pero lo importante es que ustedes sepan en qué lugar colocar ¿sí? estos adverbios. Miren. I always wash. ¿Cuál es el sujeto? I. ¿Cuál es el verbo? Wash. Y en medio de ambos, miren, always. ¿Sí? Ahí está el always en medio. ¿sí? She usually, <coughs> sorry, excuse me. She usually cleans the, the house. She is the subject and cleans is the, is the verb, right? Entonces, en medio del sujeto y el verbo, en este caso el sujeto es un pronombre, Ahí vamos a poner usual. He often does the laundry. They sometimes take out the garbage. Ellos algunas veces sacan la basura. Eh, en el caso de sometimes es el único adverbio que se sale del guacal, como decimos, ¿verdad? Podemos decir, they, sometimes they take out the garbage. Podemos ponerlo al principio. Inclusive, no es común, pero podemos ponerlo al final también. They take out the garbage sometimes. Se puede también. El único que se puede mover. Lo de ahí los demás no. Siempre van a estar entre el sujeto y el, y el verbo. ¿okay? 
we rarely go shopping. Raras veces vamos a comprar, ¿verdad? Vamos de compra. Claro, con estos precios de ahora, ¿quién quiere ir a comprar? Nadie. Ok. We never dust. Nunca limpiamos, nunca quitamos el polvo, ¿verdad? We never dust. Ok, we're going to make an exercise. I need you to tell me correct or incorrect. Quiero que me digan si la oración está correcta o está incorrecta, ¿sí? Ok, give me a second. Vamos a poner esto por acá. Y vamos a escribir por acá. Ajá, Herbert, ya me está manchando ahí. <ríe> ok. Vamos a ver. Let's start with, ¿con quién nos quedamos? Eh, Laura, ya Kevin, ¿ya puede participar, Kevin? Sí, profe. Ok, ex excellent. So, look at this, Kevin. Eh, permítame, quiero ver si puedo borrar esto. Ya está. Es que ahí Herbert estaba probando, ¿verdad? <risa> ok. Eh, vamos a ver. Permítame un segundo. Kevin. Ok, good, Kevin. Now, this sentence, he checks never email in the evening. Is correct or incorrect, Kevin? He checks never in the evening. Correct. correct. Mm. Incorrect. No lo sé, Rick. ¿Qué bueno, eh, Never es el adverbio, ¿sí? He, sí. Cierto, y checks es el verbo. Y dijimos, Kevin, que el adverbio lo ponemos en medio del sujeto y el verbo. Entonces, ¿esta oración está correcta o incorrecta? ¿Correct o incorrect? Ah, pues sería incorrect. Ok. So, what is the correct sentence? Entonces, ¿cuál sería la correcta, Kevin? Una vez más, una vez más, ¿verdad? Sí. El, el adverbio va entre el sujeto y el verbo. El adverbio va entre el sujeto. Teacher, son las 10 y 5. Ah, what? My goodness. Me salvé. Te salvó, Kevin. <risa> Hombre, yo ni he sentido el tiempo. Yo siento que ahorita son las nueve. Ok, sorry, class, pero va a disculpar. Me, me despist... Estaba despistado, ¿verdad? pero estaba bien ido en la, en la práctica. Sí. Entonces, nos vamos a dormir ya. Mire, les voy a mandar esta presentación, ¿verdad? Para que la practiquen. Ahí están unos ejercicios. Y quiero que me vean eh, la ubicación, especialmente la ubicación de los adverbios, ¿verdad? Entre el sujeto y el verbo, ¿sí? Y mañana vamos a practicar. Si me preguntaran algo, no tenía señal. No hay problema, Jay, sí, ya lo vimos que anda retrocediendo el carro cada rato ahí. <risa> okay. Así he pasado retrocediendo el carro. <risa> no, no voy camino caso. a casa, vivo hasta Versalles. Híjole, ahí por la... Wow. Sorry. Bueno, chicos, entonces, ¿hay alguna pregunta antes de retirarnos a Mimir? ¿No questions? No questions. No, teacher. Any questions. Mañana. Take care. Good evening. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. 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 Kitchen or chicken? No, chicken. 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 Y soda o soda? Ah, soda. 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 Okay, thank you. Yes. Okay, anytime, Susana. Have a good night. Bye bye. Bye.